Hi, my name's Julian Meller, founder of PropaGolfing.com. This is part two of a three-part series of videos that I've made uh, where I'm coaching BBC's John Inverdale. We're looking at some short game shots, uh, looking at some downhill lies and some higher lob shots onto the green. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> I'm going to go down here, okay. play one off a flat lie, but over, so we've got to go over the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy, but we're going to do it. No, well, these are the kind of shots that, on this course... You definitely get them, don't you? You, you get three around. Yes, yeah. So we need to be able to play this shot. The, the, actually, the biggest problem here, to me, is that bush. Right. Because so I've got to... see the danger. Because, because if I'm in that bush... You're dead. I'm dead. I've got a penalty shot, so I've, I'm playing three before I've even started. Correct. So I've got, I've got a, you know, so to me, this shot, you're, uh, well, I'd be a chicken, really. Yep. Because that's, that's absolutely the no-go area. Yep. So to me, I just want to pitch it literally just almost on the fringe and to try and get it to stop. Yeah. So if, if I was, to have this in hand if i could just literally drop it a bit like that yes. that would be a, a, a nice way to play the exactly. shot so if we can use gravity and elevation chances are we could end up with a, a nice outcome yeah so what we've got to think of how can we get elevation on this shot so it's not sat in a, a very nice line we're going to use gravity it's free what goes up must come down so if we can get the club to go up in the air we're much more likely to get the club underneath the golf ball. So what people do is you see them sitting back, yeah. opening the club face, so this 60, uh, 58 degree now becomes like a 70 degree, and if your weight's back and you hit slightly behind it, it's never gonna get to the green. So again, we don't actually need to lean back. We've got loads of loft built into this golf club. So what we're going to do is keep nice and centered, so the golf ball could be fractionally forward in your stance, but not, not too much. And all we're going to do is use your wrists up, down. So now we've got lots of loft when we hit it through. So we're not trying to hit it with lots of speed. We're using momentum up, down and through. So what I've just seen there mm. is a dangerous technique for this one. So as you were starting the backswing, you made the club go around. Yeah. We want to use gravity. We want the club to go up. Yeah? All right, OK. So exactly the same technique that we'd use in the bunker. The yeah. hardest way to get the golf ball to go in the air is to swing around the body, yeah, to use good. elevation. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to ignore the hole for a second, yeah. but we're just going to play a shot. So it's going to go up, down and through. Okay. So the outcome is not really important. So it's up, yeah, it's a, well, release, it's, yeah. through. Yeah. Okay, it. so it's a... That's it. So let's just do a couple of practice swings here, trying to crash, catch the ground. So that feels just like that. That's it. Up, down, through. So, although the grip looks lighter, how much tension do you think you're carrying in your shoulders? Oh, uh, uh, 28. Yeah, you can just see yeah. it because the shoulders move up towards the ears. So, yeah. so we're full of confidence. This shot's easy. We're going to use gravity. You can, you can have a little bit more loft on the club if you choose to, but the important thing is up and under. That's it. Yeah. Up, down, through. Nice and comfortable. Yeah, and down. Good. So. I'm not worried about it going too far to start with because we're just trying to get the technique. Yeah, right. Okay. In a minute, you'll start to refine the speed. Up, down, through. Yeah. Lovely. Made that look easy. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've got more grass between club face and ball. There's one thing we have to change. That's all. Speed. Just a touch more speed because it's it's like it's got a cushion between club face yeah. and ball. So yeah. everything else is the same. Up, down, through. Superb. So that was a horrible lie that's come out so soft. Yeah. So um, if I just get those back again, can you just show us how you would have done it? I'll even be nicer. No, no. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, well, my instinct here would have all been to open the club face as much as is humanly possible. Yeah. So that I'm almost. It's almost flat, like that, almost, yeah. because I'm because I'm. This is going back ten minutes ago, before your words of wisdom. My 
instinct would be I've got to get it up and to stop as quickly as humanly possible. So what I need to get is as much loft on it as possible because the higher it goes, the quicker it's going to stop more because I'm not, I haven't got enough spin on it to stop it. Yeah. So I, what I would have done, so you would have, I, I would have, I'd have lent on this big time. Yeah. Lots you know, and lots of open lots, space there. And, I, and I'd have done this and I'd have gone. That. And because now we've got so much loft on the club, we have to be more aggressive with it. Yep. So we've lost a little bit of control of the speed and we've lost control of the golf ball. So that was, in theory, the right thing to be doing. In yep. practice, it was making it more difficult. Yep. So let's try it with what we've just done. So with we're the more new. Okay. We're using okay. gravity, it's nice and free. Okay. So if we've got these high shots to play, yep. What goes up must come down is a much easier way yep. of getting that club face under ball. Okay. That's it. So nice and relaxed. Shoulders. That's it. You see how soft that's coming out. So yep. you're not doing it with loads of height and, and loads of loft. We're doing it through finesse a little yep. bit, really. But because you're more centered with your weight, you're more likely to hit closer to the ball. The more you're behind, it's yeah. easy to thin it or hit it heavy. Okay. So just nice and relaxed, that's it. Good, that's the one. Just up, down, through. Look at that. Now it looks like you've got feel as well. Yes. And this is a really difficult shot that, that we're trying to play from here, yeah. but you look like you've got feel. So if you're new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing to it. Uh, remember to click on the like button and press the bell so that you get notifications. And if you want more structured video tutorial content and to be part of the Proper Golfing Academy community, check out propergolfingacademy.com. In terms of confidence, potentially, has anything changed? No, I, well, already I'm thinking, <laughs> I mean, already I'm thinking, you see, the, a ball with a lie like that, yep. you've got to hit it hard without hitting it hard. Yep. So, <laughs> so we've got to commit to it. We've got to commit to it, yeah, which yeah. is, but, but it's like, that's like any, any, any shot on the whole course. If you don't commit to it, you, you know, I'd always rather hit a putt 10 feet past than leave it 10 feet short, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, so, so is it that difficult? Let's see. So maybe a touch more loft than that, that's all, but nice and comfortable. Let's use gravity, up, down, through. Oh, nearly. So the reason that didn't come out as well, yeah. any idea what happened in the backswing? Did I turn the club over? Just went around. Did I really? Rather than up. Okay. Yeah. And so you see how it came out thin? Yeah. So the, the, the flatter we swing, the shallow the strike is, the more likely you are to, to thin it. So if we just always remember up, down, then you're going to get underneath. So it this is going back to the putting. Absolutely, really? yeah, a little bit that way, yeah. So, it's, 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 so you're basically just doing that? We could use a touch more wrist here just to get the yeah. club up in the air. But in, terms of, but in terms of the line of the club? Yeah, 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 we it, don't. It, so yeah. the worst thing we can do with, with these shots is swing flat. Yeah. Because, and same in a bunker, you know, you see people uh, opening the stance, opening the club face in the bunker, swing across the line of the feet. It's about the worst technique we can do in a bunker. Uh, and it actually comes back to hickory golf clubs. So a number nine in hickory golf clubs was actually a putter. So the equivalent in terms of loft, how it used to be, was like an eight iron. So what they had to do is open the face, open yeah. the stance and hit across it. But actually the much better way in sand is to set up more square. The golf club sits in the middle, but the ball slightly forward, and then we just use gravity up, down, and you'll hit underneath it every single time. Really? Yeah. If you sw if you stand open and swing flat, we either you can hit a great shot, you can thin it, you can hit it heavy and keep it in the bunker. Makes it really difficult. So so this kind of shot, what we would call a lob shot, a bit further away, a bunker shot, it's actually a very simple technique. Up, yeah. Down and through, your weight will transfer and you'll make it much easier. So stance a touch wider just because it's this uneven lie, so a little bit wider stance, that's all. But now do you feel more centered? Oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. as opposed to. Yeah, that's it. So we're just yeah. kind of going straight here rather than going to the flag. Okay. Uh, let's just play this shot. So not a nice lie. Just use gravity, up, down. Pops underneath it. Because you're going to be faced with these shots today, but you're suddenly making that look a lot easier and, dare I say, more predictable. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. A, it's going. A, it's in, well. The, the thing is, if see, the instinct is to go back now, isn't it? Yes. To lean back, but just remember, keep it centered. That's it. Beautiful shot. It's a striking ball, and then. Well the, well, the key thing is, you know, it's that, and then it's there. 
And then it kind of, and you think, why? Not again, you know, yeah. not again. So if we just did that with your other technique from that kind of same lie. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I probably would have done this. There you go. I'm here already. That's it. And I'm going. And you see how yeah. it's a bit more stabby and you've lost control of the speed again. Because you've had to, you've got so much loft and you've had to accelerate, we've lost control of the distance. You're not going to swing through the club, are you? Because you're going to you hit can't. that. Yeah, so you it's can't. just about the contact. Yeah. So yeah. we have to commit to it. Uh, you, the, the, the bank is going to stop your club. Yeah. But if we stop, the shot, the outcome is going to be pretty bad anyway. Yes. So again, the so, worst so thing that the we can principle? do. Yeah, the worst thing we can do from here is swing around because yeah. it's really easy to top it. So just. So we're trying to get this edge under there. Yeah. So again, if we use if we use a more upright style. Yeah. So yes, if your weight was back, guess where you're going to hit the ground? There. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So if so you're that, keeping your weight more centred, yeah. that's it. So you've caught ball first. And that's come out nice and soft. Up. There you go. Because that's a horrible lie. Yeah. Off a bad, you know, it's sat, sat right down, uphill lie, but you made that look quite easy. Um, and we haven't had to mess around too much with club base and and so, and so conversely, if yep. I was in that situation and you know, and the pin was 20 yards away, yep. is it just simply bigger backswing, bigger follow through? Yep. So we've given so you it's an all okay about, It's all about balance. Balance centred. Uh, yeah. Nice upright backswing. And underneath. So oh, that, that no. was round. Was it? The, uh, it looks like your default is to go more yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So this is go a up. very different technique to get right. that club okay. underneath. It okay. makes it so much easier to hit underneath it. So just nice and, nice and steep up, down. Perfect. See how easy that was? Made that look simple. Lovely. So nice and nice simple technique. So you're not off balance. No. And you've used momentum to get the distance. So you didn't do it through force, didn't through lots of open club face, but you made it look nice and simple. And equally, if I was trying to get to the end of this green, then longer. It's just longer, but straight as as straight, just, but just, just longer. Right, yeah, because we're going to get some nice elevation on the shot. That's it. Look at that. So now as you, you're using gravity to stop the ball rather than open face and trying to spin it. But because you're nice and centred, you're much more likely to hit the bottom of the ball again. Yeah. So if we're back, it's easy to hit behind or thin it. And really what we're doing is... Depending them. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So we're just using yeah. nature. So, yeah. so if I And the same goes for putting here, as well. Absolutely. I mean, it, some simple things to think about, I would say. Yeah, but great things. It's to think definitely about. not made it worse. No, I uh, <laughs> No, listen, that's just great. Thank you so it. much. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, this is part two of a three part series. In the next video, I get John to do some putting techniques and I, I also get him to try this little drill and if you've never done it before, I suggest you give it a go. It'll absolutely blow your brains. Now, if you want to watch the rest of this series, just click on the link above or it's in the description below. And if you are looking to elevate your game, remember to check out propergolfing.com. Hope you've enjoyed this and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, bye.